Welcome to A4i TV. I'm Siobhan Colleen. This is Rigging Gear 101, Part 2. Oh man. Wire rope slings. Wire rope slings are used for hanging points and cross bracing tall structures. Wire rope slings are typically just called steel. Arena rigging packages that utilize the Imperial system will include common diameters such as 3 8 inch steel for 1 ton capacity motors and half inch steel for 2 ton capacity motors. Common lengths include 5 feet as indicated by the color red, 10 feet as indicated by the color white, 20 feet indicated by the color blue, 30 feet indicated by the color green, and occasionally 50 feet indicated by the color yellow. Arena rigging packages that utilize the metric system will include common diameters such as 10 millimeter and 14 millimeter. Common lengths include 1.5 meter as indicated by the color red, 2 meter as indicated by the color pink, 3 meter as indicated by the color white, 6 meter as indicated by the color blue, 9 meter as indicated by the color yellow, and 12 meter as indicated by the color green. To learn more about wire rope, check out Wire Rope the Basics by the famous Eric Porter. Polyester Round Slings Polyester round slings are constructed of polyester fibers encased in a tough double wall woven polyester tube. Polyester round slings easily conform to the shape of any load. When in tension, they flatten and grab the load securely. A vertical configuration is end to end. A choker configuration decreases the efficiency of the polyester round sling, meaning the maximum allowable force is less than what is allowed for a round sling that's in vertical configuration. A basket configuration actually doubles the maximum allowable force. Polyester round slings with an internal wire rope core. You might not know that this round sling has an additional property through visual inspection alone. The trick is to give the round sling a pinch and a rub. You'll be able to feel the wire rope core. Steel galvanized aircraft cable is wound in an endless configuration inside of a double wall polyester jacket. Specialized theatrical alloy chain, abbreviated as STAC and often called stack chain or deck chain. Stack chain is used for adjusting bridle leg lengths. Screw pin anchor shackle. Screw pin anchor shackles have a large rounded shape that makes them ideal for use with multiple slings. Two attachments to the bow, one to the pin. The pin need only be hand tight and never back off the pin. The maximum allowable angle between connections is 120 degrees. Ideally, stay within a 90 degree angle between each connection. Never cross load a shackle. If attaching two shackles together, it is acceptable to load them pin to bow and bow to bow. Pin to pin is acceptable if the load is reasonably centered and the ears do not prevent full contact of pin to pin. Learn more about shackles in our video, Shackles, by the super famous Eric Porter. Turnbuckles. In theater, turnbuckles often serve as the connection between the lift lines and the batten. In arena style applications, turnbuckles are commonly used as the connection between the truss and the LED video walls. They are adjustable from either end, which allows riggers to apply equal tension to each turnbuckle and level the video wall. Our industry uses eye and jaw end fitting types, burlap. Burlap is used as a method for protecting slings and steel from sharp edges and abrasive surfaces. Burlap is most often used in between the rock and roll baskets and beams. However, in some instances, strips of carpet might be used instead. This is typical in convention centers and hotel ballrooms. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this has helped you familiarize yourself with more rigging terminology. Until next time, rig safe out there.